equestrian friends, it's me Lisa, the Budget Equestrian, and I have a really fun video today. I'm going to show you how I made this equestrian themed dream catcher using paracord and just some excess little pieces of material and fabric that I had at home. This is a really fun project and I like dream catchers, but I also like horses, so I made a equestrian style dream catcher. Now to do this dream catcher, you're going to need just a couple of things. You'll need some scissors. You'll need some rings like these metal rings. These are four inch rings, a glue stick, some paracord. I just happen to have purple paracord. So first you cut the paracord and then you pull out the inside of the paracord. And that is these little pieces of white string. There's like seven pieces of string inside the paracord. So after I pulled out the string, then I just kind of sealed down one end of the paracord with a little bit of my hot glue gun. And this will help to keep the ends from fraying. Just a little bit of glue. And then I took one end of the paracord and glued it onto the ring. You could use whatever size ring you want to for this. I really like this four inch size ring. It worked really well for me. And you don't necessarily have to use paracord either. You can use jute twine, you can use leather, you can use pretty much anything that you want to wrap around the ring. I just happened to have the paracord and I liked the color, so that's what I used. So what I did was put a little bit of glue and then I just literally wrapped the paracord around the ring. And I did this all the way around until I was at the other end. It just so happened to work out that this length of paracord was perfect for the ring that I was using. And then once you're at the end of the ring with your paracord or whatever you're using, just use a little bit of glue and seal that little end to the ring. And now we have pretty much the beginning of our dream catcher, which is this purple ring. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna be tying different pieces of fabric at the bottom. So even if there's a little gap like mine has, it's not a big deal, I promise. Okay, so now that we've got the ring part done, now we're going to make the web. And this really isn't very hard. All I did was take this white string that came from inside the paracord and I tied a long piece to the ring itself. This is gonna be the starting of my dream catcher or like the web portion of the dream catcher. And then you just wrap that white string. You can use wax cord too. You just wrap it around the ring. And I left mine a little bit loose because what I'll do is come back and grab those little loop sections and that will be another like in my web for my dream catcher. So I think you can see I've gone around one time with the white string. So now I'm coming back and I'm just grabbing the loop of the previous round of string that I did. And this is what's going to give it that web appearance. Now 
Now I didn't have a needle for this part of it, but you can find craft needles that makes it a little bit easier to kind of bring that string through on each of the loops. I didn't have one, so I just kind of worked it by hand. It wasn't that hard, but it would have been a little bit easier and a lot faster if I would have used a needle for that. And then I wanted to add a little bit of something extra, so I grabbed some little glass beads and I strung beads randomly onto the paracord string while I was making my subsequent circles of loops with the string. See, I just continued to work my way around the string on the ring, the purple ring, the white string on the purple ring. And the more circles or the more loops that you have, you'll really be able to see the web really kind of take shape. And when you pull the string tight, that's what's going to make it get that web appearance. And we're getting close, getting close to the end. And then I found this charm that is a saint for writers, and I can't remember the name of the saint at this moment, but I will find out who it is and I will put that down in the description box below. But what I wanted to do was tie that saint charm onto my dream catcher. And this is what it looks like when the charm is attached to the web of the dream catcher. And then I had some horse charms, so I just wanted to cover up some of the white string that's on the outside of the dream catcher. And I just put a couple of horse charms onto the purple part of the dream catcher. Whoops, lost a bead. Okay, so now the main part of my dream catcher is completed. So now I wanted to add some of the little pieces of fabric and different things that are going to hang down from the bottom. And for this, I just took the paracord again. I took a longer piece and then divided it in half and then basically just made a loop and pulled the ends through. And I had a lot of paracord, so I just went ahead and used that for the bottom part of the fabric that's going to hang down, like the tails.
And then I found some other pieces of ribbon that I had and I just tied those on as well. So when I'm all done, this is pretty much what my dream catcher is going to look like. And I decided to take one more horse charm and put it right in the center of where all of the tails are hanging. And there is my equestrian style dream catcher that I made to go hang up in my barn. There is the dream catcher hanging up in my tack room. I am really happy with how this turned out. It was a very easy project. It was fun to do, and I think it looks pretty good too. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch all of my other DIY projects and horse related videos so you can be a budget equestrian too. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.